A few years ago, a team out of England ran a successful Kickstarter campaign for a device that lets you run your Raspberry Pi off a common smartphone battery. This is their device, the Pi Juice Hat. The hat acts as an uninterruptible power supply with a built-in 1,820 milliamp hour LiPo battery. The creators report four to six hours of use depending on your load and connected peripherals. The hat contains an onboard real-time clock that you can use to keep track of time as well as wake up the Pi at various intervals. Two RGB LEDs can be programmed to display battery life or act as other status indicators. Three buttons can be configured to turn the Pi on and off as well as run user-defined scripts. The hat stacks on top of your Pi and still gives access to the GPIO header. It only uses five pins, five volts, 3.3 volts ground, and I2C, SCL, and SDA. The Pi Juice hat is designed for the Raspberry Pi A+, B+, 2B, 3B, and 3B+, but it will also work with the Raspberry Pi Zero V1.3 and Raspberry Pi Zero Wireless. To show the Pi Juice in action, I've connected power to the hat and let the battery charge. By pressing switch one, we can turn the Pi on just like you would a regular computer. I'll give this Pi a minute to boot up and it will start a remote desktop server. By installing the Pi Juice software, we get a slick interface that gives us battery life and lets us define custom functions for the LEDs and buttons. Let's say something happens and your power goes out. Your Pi will just keep running off battery. While this is useful for keeping your Pi running through a storm, it also means you can run your Pi off a renewable resource like solar power. You just need to give a clean 5 volts to the micro USB port on the Pi Juice hat in order to charge the battery. You can also connect 4.2 to 10 volts to the J4 header. Note that your power source must be able to supply up to 80 milliamps for the battery to charge. If you're here from the Pi Juice Hat video, we've gone ahead and set up the solar cell outside to collect some direct rays. And if you've been watching the PowerFilm solar panel, we've went ahead and set up a Pi Juice to it to show you how well they work. What do we make, Sean? Oh, uh, we made energy, just pure energy. This solar cell, open circuit, gives us about 19 volts. So I went ahead and constructed a very simple 5 volt output DC-DC converter. And as you can see, we're getting about 112 milliamps coming from the solar cell after the converter into the Pi Juice. So we are actually charging the battery in that. So what does that mean actually for the Pi Juice and the power from solar cells then? So they work well together. I will say that even this cell, this big cell, it's not enough to power a Pi on its own. So you need something like this in order to charge up a battery. And that means you can say, turn on your Pi at regular intervals to collect data or post something to the internet and then shut it down so that you can store the energy again. But you can still very easily use one of the five packs or 10 packs of the power foam one with the Pi juice. Oh, I'm sure if you connected them up together, you could get a lot of power out of that. Cool. Awesome. Happy well, hacking. Yeah, I guess that's it. Happy hacking. <laughs>